All right, I'm going to show you that the Catholic heresy of purgatory is utter blasphemy and denies the plain teachings of the New Testament. So, what is purgatory? Well, purgatory is basically a eternal state, this place in the underworld, essentially, where uh, saved Catholics go and burn for a while to have their sins purified. So the blood of Jesus Christ can't cover all sins. No, you have to have some of your sins purified in purgatory. It's a denial of the gospel. But uh, let's see what the, the Catholic Council of Trent says about purgatory and the atonement and how this purgatory is utter blasphemy to God and how it denies salvation through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ being the sole propitiation for sins. Let's read it. This is the Catholic Council of Trent, uh, Session 6, Canon Number 30. If anyone saith that after the grace of justification has been received, to every penitent sinner the guilt is remitted and the debt of eternal punishment is blotted out in such wise that there remains not any uh, not, not any debt of temporal punishment to be discharged either in this world or in the next in purgatory before the entrance to the kingdom of heaven can be opened to him, let it be anathema. So, what are they saying? They're saying that if you're saying that the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all your sins, like scripture teaches, then you're basically denying purgatory and let you be accursed, essentially. They're accursing those who say what the Bible says, that the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all sins. Uh, let's see what the scriptures say about that, because the Catholic Council of Trent says one thing. It says that, uh, that basically the guilt, that all your sins are blotted out, let him be anathema and that you have to go to purgatory. Well, what does the scripture say? Scripture say otherwise. The Bible teaches that the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all your sins, not the fires of purgatory. There's no purgatory in scripture. Turn to Acts chapter 13, verses 38 to 39. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Jesus Christ, when you get saved, you're justified from all things. Plain and simple. Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 to 14. And you, being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which is contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. All trespasses, not just some, and you have to go to purgatory. Titus chapter 2, verses 13 to 14. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. All iniquity, plain and simple. First John chapter one verses seven to nine. Alright, sorry, just had to go get a glass of water. I was thirsty. But yeah, first John chapter one verses seven to nine. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All sin, past, present, and future. Plain and simple. But the Catholic Church denies that. Furthermore, the Bible teaches that the blood of Jesus Christ is what cleanses sins, not the fires of purgatory. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Colossians 1 14 In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 
and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. The Bible teaches that the blood of Jesus Christ is what washes away sins, not the fires of purgatory, not uh, Mary, not praying to the rosary, not praying to the saints. The blood of Jesus Christ washes away all sin, all sin, past, present, and future, all trespasses, all iniquity. That simple. The Catholic heresy of purgatory denies that. Thus, it is denying the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and it is denying the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. The Roman Catholic heresy of purgatory is blasphemy. And Roman Catholicism as a whole is blasphemy to God. It's just the ancient Babylonian heathen system described in Jeremiah chapter 44 verses 15 to 25. Or sorry, verses 17 to 25. Do apologize. The ancient queen of heaven worship. Baal worship described in 1 Kings 18 verses 26 to 29. That's simple. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy to God. And don't be deceived by it. It is not a Christian church. It is a heathen perversion of Bible-believing Christianity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.